What can I do for you? I'm looking for someone who stayed at this inn. Look around the tables. But at night, guests retire to their rooms. Return tomorrow if you must talk to them. All right. I'll look around. What can I do for you? <sighs> they take out rooms? Huh. I'm a witcher. Bah, by the eternal fire. Have any work for me? No. Ask the Reverend. Okay. I'll speak with him. What can I do for you? Okay. Um... Could also store stuff here, but I have little interest. It's time I was on. Might store the eye, uh, the frightener's eye. Okay, there's a little else to do here, right? Ooh, antiquary. I'm forced to sell my goods out here. Honestly, he looks like some puppet I've seen in in um I'm in some show. Uh, I can't remember what it was called, but. Or maybe it was a uh, Jeff Dunham skit. Just a face, like Christ. Bad luck. I can't enter the city either. Want to buy something? Rob me in broad daylight. Go ahead. What are you peddling? My life. Okay, I don't see that being worth much. All right, let me take a look. Recent history. There's some more books here. These are war books, it seems. While these are non war stuff. I'll be reading all of them. You'll buy this for 12. Buy this for 16. I wasn't an idiot! Beautiful! I also have the book of of the swallow, white gold swallow, um, cat, blizzard, and necrophage oil. When did I get these? Thank you. Oh, Christ! Probably really shouldn't be selling this to this guy. Probably shouldn't. But I need, I need the money. Uh, so now let's see what should I. Bye. I'm thinking of my focus on what I haven't bought yet and go from there. I haven't read this book, but I've already have detail on bargeists. Then again, I might might provide lore, so I'm kind of inclined to grabbing it anyway. And that is entering the blue Zeriger, so I need that. The Tome of Fear and Loading. That's funny. Uh, I do uh, actually already have information on ghouls and reveres, I do believe. Actually, I don't think of an entry on ghouls. No, no, I do. I do. So I don't need to look at that. Okay, Field Plants should be my first go. The book describes White Myrtle, um, Hellbore, Siladine, Ballast, Crow's Eye, uh, Berber Cane, and Suance. Also provides, method <coughs> provides information on the methods of obtaining alchemical ingredients from these plants. Uh, let's have a look at the war. Oh, no. Thank you. The conjunction of the spheres. Uh. Oh, that just bring back the uh, razor fist thing to me now. I give he's right, he's right. It's just him ranting against CD Projekt Red just seems silly. And what not. Like, if anyone spared that sin, it wouldn't be the original order. It just seems fairer that way, you know. But whatever. Um, the only reason I bring it up is it's kind of lodged in the back of me, back of me noggin right now. 
Uh, I'm hoping to forget it by the time um, I get around to Witcher 2 and 3. I probably won't, but it's stalling. It's stalling. Field Marshal Cohorn's strategy failed uh, recent history when his flanking maneuver was stopped by the heroic Visman infantry led by Governor Bor Bor Though they paid dearly for their heroism in blood. Yeah, I'll tap for a sec. Recording locally, 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 recording locally, 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 recording locally. Yes, all as well. And also keep in mind, I'm not, you know, it's not like a year or two on and I'm still wound up about this. It's, I've seen stuff recently about it, like, maybe it was a month ago. Keep in mind, like I said, I'm recording far ahead. So it's, I'm not digging up the old past. It's recent past to me. It's old by the time this comes out. And still, he's so wound, he's so wound up about that himself. He'll probably still be bitching about it by the time this comes around. While the Visimans resisted, uh, no guards left flank crumbled. Some began to flee, while others banded in small groups to defend themselves as they were surrounded. Same soon happened on the right, where the tenacity of the dwarves and the mercenaries finally broke enough guards' momentum. A cry of triumph rose on the battlefield as the hearts of the royal knights f uh, filled with new courage. The Guardian spirits fell, the man's hands went limp, and the warriors began cutting them down. And Field Marshal Man Oak Korn uh, realized the, that the battle was lost as he saw his men being killed and dispersed all around. His officers and knights came to him leading a fresh, uh, leading fresh horse, urging him to flee and save his life. The, but the Milf Guardian's marshal's heart was fearless. It wouldn't be right, he said, refusing the reins. Wouldn't be right to run like a coward from the field on which, under my orders, so many good men die have fallen for the Emperor. Uh, the History of the World by Roderick D. November. Uh, probably mispronouncing that. It doesn't look exactly like November. Well, we'll go with it. November. Eh? Uh, when the criminal stake had been lit, and the flames reached her, she began insulting all the knights, barons, mages, and councillors gathered in the square, just foul language that they're all filled with dread. I believe she consistently used words like trollop and pop poppycock, and they just got so offended. Though wet logs had been stacked to prevent the hag from burning too quickly, and provide her a chance to suffer in the flames, dry wood was soon added to the fire to end the execution more swiftly. She must have truly harbored a demon inside her, and she uttered not a single scream through, though she still sizzled fair enough. Instead, she began cursing horribly. My avenger shall be born from my own blood, she cried, from the defiled uh, elder blood. A ne destroyer of nations and worlds will arise. He will avenge my, tor my torment, death, death, and revenge upon you and your offspring. That was all she articulated before she perished. Such was the death of Falka, a punishment for the innocent blood she had spilt. Uh, and the fairy said to the witcher, I will tell you what to do. Put on a pair of iron shoes. Pick up an iron staff. Walk in the iron shoes to the end of the world. Pat, pat, uh, pat the ground before uh, before you with the staff and sprinkle it with tears. Walk through fire and water. Do not stop. Do not look back. When your shoes wear out, when the iron staff shatters, when the wind and the heat dry your eyes so that you cannot shed another tear, then you will have reached the, end, the world's end. And you have found what you, what you seek, what you love. Perhaps. And so the Witcher walked through fire and water without looking back, but he took neither iron shoes nor the iron staff. He took only the Witcher's sword. He did not heed the, the, the words of the fairy. That's a good thing, because she was an evil fairy. Just It just seems like a real, kind of weird, like, oh yeah, she was evil. Yeah. It's weird. The Conjunction of Spheres by Adam Nivelle. The cataclysm commonly known as the Conjunction Spheres happened one and a half millennia ago. A cosmic collision of parallel, uh, uh, several parallel universes, this disaster left numerous creatures, not native to our reality, trapped here. For example, ghouls and graviers, which lack their own ecological niches, are simply relics of the Conjunction. Elves claim that humans also arrived in this world during the Conjunction. Uh, this occurred soon after they managed to destroy their own world. The elves also claim that it was during the Conjunction that the humans learned to use magic. Of course, these are all vile lies and foul fabrications circulated by non-humans, who will resort to the most slanderous, uh, malicious slander to justify their claims. An Invitation to Magic 
Magic is an in incarnation of chaos, a key which opens forbidden doors to nightmares, to the powers of pure evil capable of annihilating the whole world. Do you still fear magic? Do you still want to tame it? To wield it? Know then, know then that only that magic is a talent given to only the chosen few. Have you found this talent within you? Do you want to tap into the source? Know then that you t years know then that years of intensive study await you. you. Must gain extensive knowledge and constantly sharpen your mind. Creative magic is not what your science and parlor tricks. Magic is an art. Once you learn to control the art, you will gain power over fire, water, earth, and wind. Power over people's minds. Power over yourself. Basics of alchemy. To understand alchemy, you must understand two uh, great truths. Uh, as above, so below. Uh, uh, second truth, uh, first truth, uh, as above, so below. Um, second verse, same as the first. It put me in a plane, so it can put him in a hearse. Uh, second truth, everything is one. These truths teach that chemical substances are found everywhere around you. In the field, uh, in the fi in field herbs, in human and animal bowels, even in rocks. This is because alchemy is life, and life is alchemy. Once you understand the chemical processes, you will understand the processes of life, and the world would, of nature will become an open book. Yet alchemy uh, is also knowledge. Does the potion require a flower or a leaf? Where is vermilion found? In the kidney or the eye? These questions are answered by books. Therefore, read both the old masters and new works. Practice your herbalist skills and mixing oils and powders. However, first and foremost, experiment. Because the greatest discoveries in alchemy have come through experimentation. And now we'll sell them back. No point in holding on to them, though we will only make a pittance back. I hope they break even. And I didn't. Well, uh, not break even. Uh, make a uh, hundred. And I didn't. Oh, Christ. Well, you made a pretty penny. Okay. So, in this case... What can I Got a room? Yes. I'm not. I'm actually going to look it up here, uh, just to see what I have to do to trigger the thing with Hood. Witcher. Witcher. Hood. Okay. I wonder if she turns up in Witcher Tree. Seemingly not. Huh. Okay, yeah, I don't, I don't actually have to do anything to trigger it. I thought I did, but I don't. Uh, it happens at 8. So, if I pop over to this time... Okay. She's left. Okay. So she turns up just outside the inn at eight. Then not long after her harassers attack she gets attacked. There she is. Looking all concerned. My grandmother told me never to talk to strangers. Uh, okay. She's just going to wait there for the harassers to turn up. And they turn up not long after. So we basically have to dawdle. Huh. That's a lot of Mises. Or rats. Uh, I don't think they take too long to turn up. So, probably wonder. Probably wonders about the time system in games, and well, in this game. Not sure if it only changes between 
when you um, ooh, I can pick some plants. Um, when you switch map between maps, or does it, you know, a real time kind of thing? Uh, as long as you don't have the window pause, that is. Oh, there they are. Beautiful. Looks like Miss Vesna has unwanted Keep visitors. Rough, I dare you. And let's get involved. Let's see just how tough you are. Can't wait. Is that you? Witcher, help! Piss off, Whitey. No monsters here. <laughs> Don't have the balls to fight a Witcher, Butch. Shut it, woman. I'll show you balls. <laughs> And I, I choose to assume he then takes out, you know, multiple large colored balls and starts juggling. I, I, it's surprisingly well. He's actually like, you know, if there was an Olympics, he's, you know, gold medalist right there for juggling. Um, I just choose to assume that's how it plays out. It, it wasn't talking about, you know, testicles at all. You're apt to lose those shortly. You'll be sorry. Uh, see? Nice. Also, gotta give it to her. She is trying to shank a bitch. Nice. Will you help me? I fear the dogs and thugs, but I need to get home. Certainly. Yeah, she won't make it home unless you help. Ooh, yes. Also, specialty of Tamarian housewives. Okay. Apparently, the, w the housewives in Tamaria drink a lot. Well, that's what I'm choosing to believe it means. So, yes, you have to bring her here. Oh, so if we go this way. Oh, wrong way. Sorry, this way. Uh, when I did this the first time, I did it at night. So I ended up having to face a ton of mooks. I'm not sure if I'll have to face them now. Then again, the night is getting on. Come on. Want to stick somewhere, somewhat near her. In case we uh, get attacked. Uh, when I was doing the first time around, I had no healing potions. So I ended up just having to run ahead to the end and hope she made it, it caught up with me. Okay. Here we go. Come on. Also, she can die. As far as I know, anyway. It's those dogs. Those hellhounds. You're all right. They're gone. Yep. Uh, and you're already low on health. That's fantastic. And I can't take out my sword till they're already here. Then again, maybe if I pause and hit the other tank. I don't think she can outrun them, so I don't think just running to the end is a good solution. May need to have to do that if she starts getting too low on health. You know, to take a gamble. But uh, it's not one I would really want to do. It, it likely won't turn out well. There you are. Come on. For some reason that started off on a calf health, even though I was failing to actually perform the attacks. They came after us like something was controlling them. The beast. Let's go. We're almost there. Excuse me, I firstly need to loot. I'm just gonna make some money off this endeavor. In fact I'm gonna actually probably lose money on this endeavor. <laughs> 